Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ESP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of Angular, uh, how to use Angular in ASP.NET Core or you can say that uh, how to use as a front end uh, Angular uh, with ASP.NET Core. So uh, you know that in the last video tutorial uh, I already covered uh, two things that is the getting started of Angular and the next thing is to how to update the version of Angular. So uh, just in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the angular.json file and angular.json file define the starting point of the Angular. Actually, uh, just uh, I will discuss about the each files uh, step by steps. But uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, only one thing that is that is the starting point. That is the index page index dot. So SRC I mean to say that the folder name you can see that SRC and here we have index.cshtml file so you can see that index.cshtml file that is the starting point of the file so uh, if you want to change your uh, index.cshtml file looking like like uh, like that uh, just after I will show you uh, like change the name of the file title you know that about the HTML files so favicons is there and that thing is there app root file app root file is the selector you can say selector where app root actually exists so in angular.json file you can see that index uh, that is the start uh, file and this is the man type script file that is also exists in the man.ts file so man.ts that is the existing file and uh, here we have a app module okay so app module is actually exist import app module from app app dot modules okay so uh, you can see that src app and uh, app dot modules dot ts file okay so uh, already exist you can navigate uh, from uh, just right click on it and uh, go to the definitions okay you so you can see so uh, next um, again i will discuss about the uh, index.cshtml file so index.cshtml file is the main file uh, or you can say the root file of your application so uh, just navigate uh, that uh, just navigate uh, this file and you can see that app root file app root is there that is the selector uh, how to define that is the selector okay just move to the app file and app.module file a module have a module have contain a module you can say that a module can contain multiple app con, uh, uh, multiple component files okay but duplicacy is not there uh, you can say that uh, two module cannot hold same component file okay so uh, just again uh, I'm um, discuss on that app root file actually app root file is related to the app module.ts file where app component is there so uh, in angular we have uh, basic two things that is the module and uh, number two is the component so a module have a component you can say a module uh, a component inside in module so so app component what is the app component just navigate to that that is the class file you can say so export class app component title is this and you can see that in the component we have a selector that is the app root and that selector actually used in index.cshtml file that is there okay so if you remove that uh, selector from uh, index.cshtml file then you got an error in uh, your uh, angular file so app root i mean to say that selector is must to add inside your index.cshtml file to make a uh, you can say uh, layout.cshtml file looking like that in the asp.net core so you get you got an error like uh, console you got an error uh, app root did not match any elements okay so must to include app root file and app root what is this app root app root is actually exist in the app component files so app module app component go to the definition and you can see that is the selector app root 
if you want to change the name app root one then you again must to change app root one okay so just save this and again run your application it's taking time to load your application so uh, the selector actually uh, must to include in your file you can say that's a web sockets warning so uh, so you can see that app root is there app root is the selector file in app component so uh, understand uh, very well i think so if you want to design your components so use add the red component first that is selector and that selector actually used in index.cshtml file you can see okay so just uh, i'm going to uh, show you uh, the different things about the components in a later video tutorials so uh, wait for the next time uh, wait for the next video tutorial about the components and the modules and how to add a new component in uh, uh, angular file so uh, you can see that uh, export what is the export keywords and why we use app export keyword in uh, uh, to design app components so many more things about uh, angular is remaining so wait for the next video tutorial and i will show you how to add a new component in your um, in your folder src okay so this is the default uh, modules and uh, typescripts files is there so uh, wait for the next video tutorial i will show you so this is the starting point and that defined by the angular.json file and you can see that index.cshtml file the main file is the CS, uh, src main.ts file and uh, root is there root is nothing that is the man root file styles is there that is the global styles src src styles.css file okay so this is the man global configuration of the file that is the not a local configuration that is global configuration mentioned in angular.json file serve i mean to say that after build and after run your application that is the dev kit okay option browser target that is client app build options configuration production uh, browse target client app build production uh, okay so lots uh, lots of thing is remaining in uh, angular and i i will discuss e in each module and uh, each about the each components and functionalities of angular in later video tutorials so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to your problems and asp.net code thank you very much